Pharmacists say physical and verbal abuse against them has become unacceptably common and many now feel unsafe when at work. Police forces say they are being called out to handle pharmacy-based crimes. A union for UK pharmacists say more needs to be done to enforce the NHS Zero Tolerance Policy on Worker Abuse. The Pharmacist Defense Association says there have been reports of a stabbing and physical attacks in pharmacies around the UK. Ms. Causer, who received physical injuries from an attack attack in the pharmacy says she is still haunted by the mental scars. I struggle now when a patient raises their voice to me. I have a little internal panic attack and then have to make sure I control it. She also says she used to face an abusive patient once a month before the pandemic. Now she says she rarely gets through two shifts without facing an abusive patient. Allison Jones from the Pharmacist Defense Association states, Staff shortages are already bad and now they are only going to get worse. More patients are accessing the pharmacy than ever before and there is only a finite amount of staffing in hours. We are now in a situation where more and more pharmacists are considering whether they want to work in community pharmacy because of the working conditions and violence. The situation in Europe is similar to that in the United States, so the question is, is retail pharmacy staff safe anywhere?